Piranha Proof? Let's talk armor. Arapaima. River giant built like a submarine, up to three meters long, thick as a barrel wrapped in scales. Piranhas can't bite through. Not because piranhas are weak, because Arapaima scales are outrageously well engineered. Each scale, strength and flex. Outside, hard mineral layer like ceramic. Tiny crystals spread a bite's force. Beneath, flexible collagen core in a bulligan spiral. The spiral redirects cracks so they stop. Stack hundreds. Overlap like roof tiles. Edges interlock. Outer layer blunts teeth. Inner layers absorb, twist, dissipate energy. Teeth meet armor, not meat. Evolution by neighborhood. These waters host infamous biters. If neighbors nibble, you wear a castle. Scales thick at the center, thinner at the edges. Overlap forms a flexible sheath that moves with every tail beat. Reduces drag, lets the giant glide with surprising grace. Hydrodynamics plus defense. Arapaima, surface to gulp air, lungs of a fish, cruising low oxygen waters. Big body, slow heartbeat, power in reserve. Built to endure, built to last. Engineers study scales to design body armor and flexible ceramics. Hard outside, tough inside, interacting layers under stress. Nature had the patent. Piranha proof, as close as the Amazon gets. Not invincible, but unfair to teeth. Picture a silent armored cruiser rising for air, scales flashing like forged metal, then vanishing below, untouched. If that isn't peak biological engineering, I don't know what is.